We are about to go crazy for Kaylets, and no, it's not a made-up word. Actually, I hadn't heard of it before right now, actually, either. But here to tell us more is Ann Cundiff, who is a registered hy dietitian. So first of all, thanks for being here. Yes. And I am curious, what is Kaylets? So Kaylets are a hybridization between Brussels sprouts and actually kale. And it's a natural sprout process, and they just look like little bunches of kale that are a great, nutty, strong flavor that are very similar to the Brussels sprouts and the kale. And so what do you have here? So this is just chopped up kale that we've made into kind of a salad. You can use it, you can roast um, kaleettes, you can also use them in sauteing, in an omelet, or maybe a quinoa dish, but we're just gonna make an actually cold salad. So we've got some chopped up kale, we've got some pistachios okay. for the upcoming St. Patrick's Day, some dried cranberries, and then we've got some shredded Gouda cheese. Love Gouda cheese. It's and my then it is, it's got such great flavor. And then I've made my own little dressing. It's got a little bit of olive oil, uh, mustard, and then there is also some garlic. And then we're going to put some onions in there too. And then just salt and pepper to taste. And any, I assume any type of salad dressing Absolutely. would be great on this, although I know anything homemade is usually better. Absolutely. But. And you could use some sweet too. So if you wanted to put some honey in there, if you wanted to put some walnuts, anything that has like good nutty flavor very much complements kale nuts. So I feel like some people say that kale has kind of that bitter taste, you know? So how would this compare to that, maybe just kale? So when you think about kale, the smaller the kale or baby kale, has a little bit less of a bitter taste. So this is going to actually be less bitter because it's more of like a baby kale. So it's going to be very, very palate pleasing. It's not going to have that aftertaste. And then when you mix it with a little bit of sweet, like the dried cranberries, it actually complements it very, very well. So obviously salad, you mentioned eggs or anything with like quinoa. Quinoa, but rice, any side mm -hmm. dish that you might do. You could even saute it and put it into a pasta dish. Mm. You know, instead of using basil, you could use that as an option that would give it some really pretty color and good flavor. And we were talking about, too, how you might be able to make what you would consider kale chips. You could put those in the sure. oven, right, with a little olive oil or something Absolutely. And pepper. Olive oil and a little bit of salt and pepper. You can put a little garlic pepper if you like it spicy. You could put cayenne pepper. That anything good. that you, Anything that your palate desires, you can do with kale nuts. Where would people find kaleettes in the grocery store? So kaleettes are going to be in our produce departments at Hy-Vee, and you're going to find them in bags. They're about this big, and then they're going to be right next to the Brussels sprouts and probably right next to your actually fresh kale. And you said actually Hy-Vee is the only grocery store right now that people will be able to find kale at. Yes, we're really excited because we're one of the first grocery store chains in the Midwest that actually have this product. So it's our dietitian pick of the month and it's National Nutrition Month, mm -hmm. so it's a great way to kind of feature a fun new vegetable that we might not have in our homes. Right, and it's it's actually getting warm out, so I it feel is. like that makes you want salads more, so this is the perfect way to kind of kick it off spring. It is, it is. So happy green St. Patrick's <laughs> Day week. Put it in your smoothie. Have a green smoothie you this could. morning. Definitely. Thank you, Ann, for uh, uh, joining us this morning and we have that recipe posted on our website that's kcci.com later on today we'll be right back